Some tobacco shop owners are fighting back after the state unplugs a big part of their business. The state is stopping shops from renting the use of roll-your-own cigarette machines until shop owners pay for a permit. News 8's Jenna Traum joins us live from our studio with the conflict that's headed to court. The state says roll-your-own machines turn tobacco shops into cigarette manufacturers. But shop owners say they're just in the rental business and they're not going down without a fight. Josh Winrick thinks he's getting a raw deal, and he says big business lobbyists are to blame. Definitely not fair. Definitely not fair. It's um, because of lobbyist firms pushing the Department of Revenue, the big businesses are just trying to raise their competition. That's because stores like his, which rent the use of roll-your-own cigarette machines to customers, save smokers a lot of cash. Generally in Wisconsin, a carton of cigarettes can cost anywhere from $60 to $70 um, with with the customers coming here buying tobacco tubes and renting the machine, they can spend $30. So there's over 50% savings for them to do that. The Wisconsin Department of Revenue unplugged machines all over the state last week, saying the owners need to buy cigarette manufacturing and distribution permits. So Winrick and other store owners are going to court Friday to try to get a temporary injunction that would allow owners to keep operating their machines before they go out of business. Probably 50 to 75 percent or more of the businesses based on the rental of these machines. Here's how these machines work. The customer buys the tobacco and the tubes, then rents the machine from the owner. They put the tobacco in here, tubes go in here, they prompt the machine here. The machine rolls 200 cigarettes in 10 minutes. Now the argument here, since the customer is doing all the work, the person who rents the machine is not the manufacturer. We are just in the rental business. We rent our machines. We are not involved in any part of the process. Winrick estimates he's already lost more than $10,000 since he pulled the plug on his machines. And if he can't get his machines up and running again soon, he might have to close his doors for good. Winrick also pointed out smokers might start going to Minnesota to avoid higher prices. That means Wisconsin would also miss out on the 71% tax on the tobacco smokers would no longer buy here. All right, thank you, Jenna. The Department of Revenue says they're just enforcing a law that was already in place and protecting small businesses that have been following it.